Hello everyone, welcome back to day two, we're renovating this vintage pony box into a portable bakery. Remember that crumbling, rotten wood you saw yesterday? Well it is no longer there, as I tore it out and struggled off camera, but I will gloss over that part and show the awesome part where you can see the actual chassis. It's actually in really really good condition, despite the rust and its age, but after wire brushing and making an absolute mess in my driveway, it was ready to paint to ensure the rust doesn't worsen its condition and fall apart. I spent probably about 6 hours in total painting on my back, so to say I'm aching is an understatement. I also finally got a wood delivery for the new floor and some other bits for the wall. Woohoo, the floor is done! Hello everyone, welcome back to day 26 of renovating this vintage pony box into my portable bakery. Last time I started priming, don't worry this red is not the final colour. But today's weather was kind of iffy so I decided not to prime. Instead I decided to take on the big task of wiring the trailer lights. This is cool, this is what all the wires mean. I think I'm trying to convince myself that I enjoy doing electrics, but this junction box is kind of cool. You just put the lights wires in one end and the car's wires in the other and then they link. You know I've done this for a long time when you see shamrocks growing underneath it. It's typical Irish. I also got very made fun of when I said this was my favourite tool. I love wire cutters, it's so satisfying. To simplify it, though it's already quite simple, I put the two trailer lights in one end and the car wires in the other. But then, disaster struck. Like usual, I get a setback. I thought it was the condition of the old socket that plugs into the car, but after unscrewing it and taking a look at the wires, I realised the old man who had owned this had wired it wrong. As you can see, 313 is yellow, but on here it says it's supposed to be white. To make sure no wires were broken, I got this old motorbike battery and just tested the lights, and they worked, surprisingly. I even think my dog was celebrating at this point. Hello everyone, welcome back to day 35 of renovating this vintage buddy box into my portable bakery. I started off today by removing the rust and painting an old license plate holder. I also cut out a patch from the old recycled aluminium. This is going to cover and waterproof two holes in the side of the trailer. I made sure to file it down so the edges weren't sharp and sign it. Then I began dot punching it and drilling all the holes for the rivets. The weather got really bad for a few minutes so I went inside and I got a massive surprise from Tech7, a lovely adhesive company. They kindly sent me a huge amount of their products and I'm so grateful for them. I was genuinely on the verge of tears opening this box, I never thought an adhesive company could make me so happy, but thank you Tech7. My partner in crime wasn't very happy that it was raining, she was giving me a lot of death stares. Out of the aluminium I cut out a patch for the vent. This wheel holder had left three holes that I needed to waterproof, so I got started at making very mini patches, so I drilled them and I made sure a rivet could pop through them, and then I cut them out. Instead of just putting a rivet right through the trailer wall, these will just help keep it more waterproof. Especially because I'm using Tech7's waterproof silicone. Then I got my favourite piece of equipment back out, the rivet gun. I stuck on the patches and began to rivet them in. This is really cool, this is how a rivet works. It like pulls a ball back through a tube and then the tube expands and it pops. I don't know, it's really cool to me. It looks so flush from the outside you wouldn't even realise something was there once I sand it. The rain was getting way too heavy so I couldn't work any more on the patches so I just decided to take the old nuts off the wheel holder and make sure it still fit the tyres. And thankfully it did. It's official, we're finally painting it pink today. Hello everyone, welcome back to day 40 of renovating this vintage bunny box into my portable bakery. I woke up really early this morning, newspapered off where the cream is going to be and then started spraying. I genuinely don't think I could have picked a better colour, I love it so much. It is all starting to come together, the spraying has to be my favourite part of this entire project so far. Here is me just doing one of the back doors and then another back door. The toughest decision I've ever had to do in my life is to choose whether I wanted cream on the roof or not, but I decided it would be way better than just doing it all pink. So I took off the newspaper and everything I hadn't painted pink, I painted cream. And here is the big reveal. I am so excited to show you guys this, I could not be happier with it. It will have my logo painted on it, but for now this is just perfection. Though there is a lot more to be done, thank you guys for sticking around for 40 days.